Thank you to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewing America, all stainless steel mash paddle sponsors. Also, Hopsteiner and Yakima Chief Hops. Get brewing. Hey everybody, Main Brew Guy here, brewing the Belgian Double today. This is the third and final experiment for the Brewtubers yeast experiment. This is hub number three. So uh, that was a lot of fun. I have DKN that I have to review. I have the Saison at the hub, and then this one here will be going to the hub uh, the second week of July. So I wanted to say that I'm using Imperial Yeast uh, Triple Double, I'm going to not use a starter. It says here that I could, I can pitch. I'm pretty close to what I can pitch there at 16 Play-Doh. So um, I'm almost a few points off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this uh, straight in without uh, doing a starter mid-February. So it's still pretty fresh. So I'm pretty confident that we will be fine. So I collected my RO water overnight. I actually collected way more than I needed. I guess I slept in a little late. Um, and just woke up, so good thing this is a brewing uh, channel and not a fashion channel. Uh, but I did check the TDS in there, and uh, I'm still, the, my, my arrow water is still producing um, total dissolved uh, solids less than 0 0.008. So it's still fantastic. So we're good there. So the water is starting out pretty pure. Uh, I'll add the brewing salts according to the experiment uh, guidelines that are on the website. Yeah, let me get this brew day started. Oh, if you like the work shirt, check out brewtubers.com slash shop. Belgian Dubel, YouTuber's yeast experiment. 
we're on our way. That was a 90 minute boil for the first 30 minutes. Uh, we didn't have to add anything. Okay, that changes a lot. I love it. So the next drop is in 30 minutes. And um, so we're coasting from there. I'm gonna have a beer. All right, 30 minute drop. Mm. Smells good. The only thing I've got left is the 10 minute drop, which is both the World Flock Tablet, the Yeast Nutrient, and D90 Candy Sugar, Dark Candy Sugar, which is beet sugar. That's gonna go in the last 10 minutes. That'll bump the gravity up. And we'll be ready to cool down. So as you can see there, um, the tilt is usually pretty damn close now that it's calibrated. And I will be doing a calibration video on how to do that. But the hydrometer read was right around the same. It's really hard to tell with the foam, but I'm gonna call it a success. That's a pretty good uh, brew day. So I have to use the glycol to get it the rest of the way. So I'm gonna hook that up now. If you're curious about this glycol system, there's a video on how to do this. There's a three-part video. The first part is constructing the um, glycol tank and setting this up. I'm going to set it for 73 degrees, which is almost in the middle of the range for this yeast. And then I'll pitch. So it's at 90 right now. It should get down to that temperature within 15 minutes or so. So now it's 73, set for 73 and the current temperature is 91.7. It is now almost uh, 15.30. We'll come back in a minute. Okay, about 15 minutes and we're at temp. So I'm ready to pitch. It already feels cold compared to the ambient temperature here. <laughs> it's pretty warm here today. It's very humid actually, and it's raining at the moment, so it's making it more humid. I probably should eh, get the scissors. We'll see. Eh. And there it is. Oh, that smells good. Not the yeast. Well, the yeast isn't that bad, but the, the wort smelt really sweet. Nice smell to it. Well, here we go. We'll see how this does. Hopefully uh, not doing a starter didn't burn me. So I didn't do a starter on this. Um, you know, Imperial does a really nice large cell count. Um, so I think I'll be okay uh, on the Dropkick Nate. I should have done a starter. Uh, my sample was almost a year old. I should have. It, Hindsight. Anyway, um, hopefully this one doesn't give me that stressed yeast character. It shouldn't. Um, Imperial is pretty solid. That's why I'm fermenting. I think the upper range on that is... So the um, upper range is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm at 73. So uh, yeah, we'll call that a success for today. I hit all my numbers right on the money. The brew day went pretty smooth. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. So far, over the, all the equipment worked well. So this is it. I've completed all three hubs of the uh, BrewTubers yeast experiments. Um, so now it's, I get to reap the rewards. I get everybody's beers in. Uh, I've got nine different beers in here right now for DKN. I'll be getting nine different beers for the um, Saison experiment. And then I'll get, oh, probably about seven or eight of the Belgian Double. <laughs> from different brewers all over the US. So pretty, pretty stoked about that. So that'll keep me busy all the way through the fall. Anyway, cheers guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Cheers. Remember, no one is smarter than all of us. Share knowledge and brew great beer.